G'day, this is Mr. Thompson. I'm going to create a short series of videos which will show you how to use Equation Editor, which is a wonderful little tool uh, that comes from Microsoft and it's very useful for putting equations into Word documents. In fact, you can use it in Word documents or you can put equations into PowerPoint or OneNote or any of the Microsoft applications. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to use the menu system to enter an equation and uh, subsequent videos will show you how to use the keyboard, which is a lot quicker. But to get started, let's use the menu system. So let's say I want to put an equation like this in. This is an equation for a gravitational force. Uh, so let me, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go insert equation. Now if I click on this down arrow here, you can see there are a whole bunch of pre-canned equations, common equations that um, I guess you may use. You can scroll down, you can see a few more. Our equation doesn't look like any of those, so I'm just going to click on the, the, the equation button itself, and that'll put a blank equation in. Now, the first thing I need to do, I sort of need to break the equation down into bits. The first bit of the equation I need to write is F sub G, in other words, an F with a little G subscript. So that's a script. So I'm going to click on script button here, and you can see the shape of the script that I want is this shape here. Okay, so I've got a, a square here that I'm going to put my capital F into, and I click down here with my mouse, and I can put my lowercase g into that square. Now, if I put equals, you know, that's see how when I put equals in, it put equals still as a, as a subscript. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is once I put my g in, I'm going to use the right arrow to get out of that little subscript box. And now when I put my equals in, it puts a uh, normal equals in, not a subscript equals in. So F sub G equals, okay, capital G, just type that in. Now I want a fraction. So I'm going to come up to here and I'm going to click on the fraction bar. My fraction, what does my fraction look like? It looks like that one there. Yep, so with a box on the top and a box on the bottom. Um, now I need to put an expression. I'm going to need to put this um, M1 times M2 uh, on top. In fact, I don't need the brackets, but hey, I've got the brackets there, so I'll show you how to put them in. Um, so brackets, uh, M, actually I can't do M yet. I need to uh, go script and put a subscript in there so I can put M there and sub 1. Again, I use my right arrow to get out of the subscript box. Now I'm going to put a dot for multiply. Now I need to put another subscript in. So let me do that. Like that. Okay, M sub 2, oh, not 21, sub 2. Right arrow again to get out of my subscript box. Close the brackets. And there we go. Now, let's come down here and I need R squared. So again, that's another script. This time it's a superscript. Looks like that. So we've got a R in that box there, squared in that box there. There we go. Now, when I click outside of the equation editor, there we go. That's um, a nice looking equation. And you see, that was fairly intuitive. So by using the menu system, it's actually fairly easy to create an equation, uh, but it's a little bit cumbersome, particularly you've got a more complex equation. So it's a lot quicker if you learn how to use the keyboard shortcuts. So the next video I will show you, I'll show you how to do this same equation using shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. And, uh, and I'll probably create a few more videos after that showing various different types of um, functionality with different keyboard shortcuts.